Canada in their traditional red. Kenya in the green, the playoff series. Who will stay a core team for next season? It all comes down to this. Off the boot of Tony Amondi, we are underway in the playoff series decider, and it's plucked cleanly out of the air by Brock Webster, who has been an utter standout for Canada today as he's wrestled by Otieno. That's crept up high. Otieno licking his lips as he got hold of the smaller stature. Webster in that encounter, but just getting a little bit wrong. What we did see from Canada earlier today when they needed to come out and beat Tonga, they were very calm, very yeah, composed. Yeah, open, open. Thank you. To show that today, this man here throwing the ball in Jack Carson, three tries. The way they come early, they wanted to go, and again, Russell does really well to get rid of that ball, but it's a fly hat downfield. It's going to beat everybody. A little bit of tension to start with. It's nervy, isn't it? You can just feel the tension. Uh, Kenya, open, please. No tension there. We will dance and sing and party all day long. And spur their team on. They go again with a little short throw to the front for Carson. And Canada spread early. Webster's out wide here and he's going to take on Oyo around the outside. They come back in. It's good footwork from Richard to get around the outside. David Richard steaming down this left-hand touch. Kenyon chases, just dragging him down. Amondi needs some support and it's going to be stolen away by Nelson Oyo. Brilliant yeah, chase back by Kenya. Wow, what an effort. It's players bodies on the line sort of stuff for these teams and now Kenya with a chance to stride out breaking away Kevin Wakisa he's got rid of all just about Alex Russell now it's Canada's turn to make the big defensive play and earn a penalty yes but you're shielding the ball two chase backs on the bounce back 10, please Alex Russell hands on knees back 10 10 to end stuff here at Twickenham both teams are without Injured player Daniel Tabu not out there for Kenya. He's injured. J Thomas Isherwood, who's been a real bright spot for Canada, out as well. Head to the line, please. Okay. Now, you would have backed him the form he's in to go all the way here. It's a brilliant chase back from Russell. Just gets around his waist and brings him down. Line out goes over the top and it lands in Kenya's hands. It's there for Herman Humwa. So. Can you get a chance to launch on halfway? Amondi goes through the hands for Odiambo. They've created some nice space here for Oyo, the captain. A little in and away. He's turned Richard inside out, and this is the first strike in the playoff series decider. It comes in the form of Kenya's captain, Nelson Oyo. Well, they've struck, and they look hot. They get it wide to the skipper. And he goes inside. He goes back outside. And over the try line, oh you beauty! Really nice running from the Kenyan skipper. Conversion. Oh, it's good too from wide. Really good kick. So it's Kenya who draw first blood, seven points to nil. This has been an area Canada have been good at at the restart as it's slapped away and it's scooped up by Matt Awaru. It's a real power carrier for Canada in the middle. Just holding on to that well. Stewart. And Canada having to come from behind here. Webster trying to take on two or three Kenyan defenders in one. I think, yeah, they're just going to call time here. Perhaps just a stray boot or something on the way through. Okay. It's going to be a hold up. Adam Lee will spot it straight away. It's really good work from the referee spotting that. Canada just a yeah, chance to your come together. And just actually bumped into Matt Awara up in the food area. <laughs> Offered him half a cheese, half my uh, carrot cake. He took it. 
He was actually very composed, seemed very calm, but he talked about the roller coaster they're on on this journey. Young team rebuilding post Tokyo. Yeah, they are a, a team that had well, lost a lot of players. They also talked about Sean White and Phil Mack. Phil Mack there in the pink bib with his back to us. Just giving instructions, a former player, he's okay. vastly experienced. Okay, Hoax. And the Warrior talked about his influence in the group. Good stuff, let's stay on it. Plenty of experience in that Kenyan circle. I think, I'm not sure, but I think I mean, the player down yeah. could be Kevin Wakisa. He's the one I can't see yeah. at the moment. It's a blow. Well, it's a blow to lose anyone at this point, especially after starting so well, Kenya. The words, all the experience. They're a very experienced team themselves. And this is the quality that we've already seen from them in this game so far. It was Ori Ambo who fed it on to his skipper. I love that. It's a classic for a winger, isn't it? At the in and the out. Just bamboozling his opposite man. Really smart. And that's the score that's making the difference at the moment in this game. There's going to be a bit of time taken over here. It is Kevin Wakesett to ensure that he is OK. Is the autograph still being signed? Ross McCann, GB. Oh, there's GB voice. Talk about inspiring people here. It's the opportunity you get with a home tournament. The opportunity of this global game for these players to travel the world, inspiring the young players watching. Frenchman signing an England jersey. Yeah, that's probably treasonous. <laughs> yeah, some ones with their medals, their bronze medals, and big wide smiles. They've got more to do later in the year, Samoa, but they can round out a great season. And what a lovely moment for that young fella as well to beat with the Samoan. And uh, Levi Milford, lovely, really lovely touch from Levi Milford to give his medal. Lovely. Yeah, that's what these guys do. The men and women of the series, they do so much work in the communities, building up to tournaments and the time they spend. I think I still just only seen Kayvon Williams leave and they finished playing the US. Feels like an hour ago to Mickelson now. Probably out with a couple of Kiwi backpackers. <laughs> Done that a few times, but they give a lot of time. It's great to see. Oh, Kevin Wakesa up on his feet, and that is great to see. All the care taken. He's going to come to the side, but pleasing news that he can go off of his own esteem. Yeah, it's a huge relief, and hugs and care from his teammates and from everybody here on the pitch and off it. Oh, he lit the place up yesterday, Kevin Wakesa. Hat-tricks in both of Kenya's games. Utterly brilliant to set them up and put them into this playoff match. He's going to have to see the rest from the side and hope his team can do it. As we restart play, 10 metres on the Canadian side of halfway with the scrum. It's just the one score in it so far, the one try to Nelson Oyo. That's a ropey ball from Stewart to Webster and a little bit of cold coming out of that delay for Canada but it gives Kenya a great chance well as if there wasn't enough in this psychologically for the players coming out they just had a long stoppage right, the line. It's a new ball, so got to be able to slide along that scale switching off and then it's a new ball so no back into action you have to use the same ball give it back to Kenya <sighs> this one goes to Humwa in the middle is Tanga Gets the return ball and Kenya can launch again here through the skipper once more. We are trying to go around the outside of the Canadian defence, stopped in his tracks. Nice quick ball for Amondi to clear with, though. Humwa stationed in midfield. John Akio out there now in 22. 
replacing Wakisa. Maintaining position nicely, just under two minutes to go in this first half. Remember, it's winner take all, stay on the series as Kenya steam forward again. Canada making their tackles at the moment, but defensively feeling the heat. Oh, as Matt Awaro puts a shot on him, who does really well to get rid of it. Or Tieno will look to bump off bodies, just losing his footing, and that allowed Berner and Carson to come at him. Kenya pressing and probing, tipped up with Kiel. And stolen Webster, brilliantly done. The smallest man out there has pinched one back. That's really sharp work. Canada wanted to go quickly there. But the pause means they can bring on reinforcements. Comes in the form of Josiah Mora, Jojo Mora. He's a game breaker for the Mitch Stewart. Comes to the side. He's got a lot of strapping on his right arm, right shoulder. It doesn't look like there's a huge amount of mobility. As Webster plugs the sideline and peels off good meters too. That's a huge nudge. He's just marched them all the way, almost up to the Kenya 22. It's been been good in this playoff tournament. Brock Webster. Last line out was overthrown, so instead they go short for Carson. And Russell, it's a tricky little move. They've used that one a bit. Burner clears away. Awaro, here's Webster. Canada looking to get Mora in some space. Shot coming on. Stood his ground really well, did Mora. And just bought himself some time for his teammates to arrive. Richard clears for Awaro. Manipulating some space. Kenya backtracking here. Burner throws a ball. It lands just in front of Russell. Russell able high. to cling on, appealing Abolish. for a high shot, but they're pouring forward here. Canada, red shirts flying at the Kenyan line. Awara rumbles over the top. Gong Abolish. goes for half time. They'd love one here if they can, Ken, uh, Canada. And they've got some space for Mora. Patient play. And Josiah Mora comes on to score for Canada. Good call. Good call, well, has got them jumping. It was good line break. Awaru decides he's going to go route one. And why not? And they recycle and just get it wide under a bit of heat. Amara with an easy run in, trying to get as close to the post as he can for the kick. So a kick to come for Canada to tie us up at what will be half time. It's Brock Webster. And that is straight as an arrow. We go to halftime in the playoff decider. It's seven all, Canada, Kenya. Seven minutes, seven all. Winner takes all to become a core team next season. Brock Webster gets us back underway as Mora goes flying and the ball's falling Kenya's way. And now busting up the middle. It's a great bust from Okio. Dragged down eventually. Hi Carson, but it was a quick pick and away come Kenya pouring forward straight after the half time. Johnston Alindi goes to ground. Canadian player has to release. And then Humwa. Big ball across the face for Oyo. Kenya's try scorer. No Tony Amondi out there at the moment. He's having a head injury assessment for Kenya. We've also lost Kevin Wakesa and they've lost control of that ball. And it's going to be Canada's throw to the line out. Yeah, they're up against it a bit now, losing two of their main men for the time being. There we go. Need to be able to control the ball. That's so finely poised, isn't it, Ricky? The tension is palpable. Webster. Right in front of their own goalpost. Here's Mora. Just going to try and chop back in field here. He's got some support, but was it getting in over that penalty you goes against Oyo. Your... You effectively speak to Support came just in time, way. really, in the form of Richard. Bit of relief for Canada. It was a bit of a messy ruck. Could have gone either way, I think. But Webster won't mind. He's going to try and bang this one up the touchline. The play they like. Just peel off a few meters. Go to the okay, set piece. Off. Sub red 19. It's a warrior uh, saying I'm getting me. the line out. He's rolling off, and Kalsega comes on in 33. 
OK, in you come, please, lads. Find back on. Five minutes to play. Seven points apiece still as it's plucked by Burner for Carson. Now Webster crashing forward. It's a brilliant short ball. Richard just dragged down. It was a desperation tackle. Offloads just sticks. Was there a knock on in there? Yes. Losing control. Hands on head for Webster as Canada broke through. It's a lovely line. Okay, time off. So, Beautiful. They had the runner coming out the back, but it was the short line this time they used. But it's another chase back. It's becoming a theme in this game. Stay bound, don't break the scrum. Wow, Who was it? Who was it getting back? Unbelievable. OK, turn back on, please. I'm late. Crouch. This is, yeah, desperation stuff, isn't it, from these teams? It's Bind. You say, fight for, for survival. Set. Sport thrives on promotion relegation. Who wants it more? Four and a half to play. Who's got the composure or the big play? And here's a big run from Edmund Anya. Stopped in his tracks, spun to ground. Let go. Up route one is Herman Humwa. It's going to be slow coming out of there, but out it comes for Anya to clear once more. And now Otieno, all his experience, Alvin Otieno, oh gosh, Sega clinging on, Jersey control as it's been stolen back on Canada's so side. On feet, on it was Russell who dug in there, and it spilled out for Canada again. Here's Elias Urgas onto the field in 11. He's got his captain there, Burner in support, now Mora clears. Webster's out over on his haunches on this far left side. It is attritional and desperate from both of these teams. Three and a half to go now. Urgas going to take them on, creating some space for Webster. He's holding it up, looking at that footwork. Oh, he's brave too. Brock Webster just clatters in to Herman Humwa. Mora can't find a hole, but he's still got possession and the ball. Canada maintaining it now, Urgas. Webster playing in at first receiver. Wants to go for the big wide ball this time. He's just held up his cast, and that's knocked off a Kenyan hand, and it's going to be a yellow card. Kenya go down to six. Well, that was hard graft, that passenger play for both teams. Lots of Kenyan hands on knees, but they're going to have to dig in now because that is a yellow all day long. Okay, time and he's gone. gone for two minutes. Sub green eight. John Akiwa came on, he's made a really good impact since coming on for Kevin Wakesa. Now he's going to have to sit and watch for two minutes. And Damian McGraw, his coach, is going to have to use all his nows and years of experience to manipulate, help manipulate this for his team. Yeah, stay bound as well. Everyone stay bound. That's the mark, good. Oh, time off. Yeah. When you're down to six, it's largely just about up okay, in that work rate. Right. But how much more have they got to give? Crouch. The end of a long, gruelling season here. Bind. What have they got in the tank to try and keep Canada out? Set. Seven all, and now it's seven on six. Canada with a one-man advantage for the next two minutes. And away they come through Urgas. It's a great desperate tackle from Tunga, and it's going to be stolen. Brilliant work over the ball of Lindy. And away he goes. They pull forward. Olok. And now Otieno is going to try and rumble his way. That one's crept up high. Penalty Lincoln, only against going. Canada. Okay. Kenya just desperation shots coming in. Everyone is going to be stolen back. Phil Burner, brilliance. Oh, how good's he been? Skipper Phil Burner gets on another one with the steal. Interesting decision making from Kenya. So often teams, when you're down to six, you try and eat up the clock, but they were going quickly let's go please Brock Webster battered bruised bleeding he's going to plug the sideline again here he's eating up that time on the bench your mark thank you all the players from the respective sides are all up on their feet on the sideline 
Here's Canada and Brock Webster cuts up through the middle, trying to accelerate away, needs some support. It comes in the form of Mora. He's still got Webster on the inside. Webster being chased. Otieno just drags him down. Up to the 22, yeah, and this no, could be... No. I was going to say, thought stolen away then for a moment. He's Canada must have numbers. Huge numbers for Berner. And then on the outside, Alex Russell for the corner. And with a minute to go, Canada go in front. And it's Alex Russell. Brock Webster with the initial break. Gives it to the speedster, hoping he's going to find the final touch. They stay in field, importantly, recycle at that ruck. They move it. They had numbers, making the use 7v6. And Russell goes over in the corner. Is that the score that gives them the core status for next season? Well, you look at the guys involved down. in that move. Webster, Berner, Russell, they have put in a massive shift this weekend as the conversion's away. So it's just a five-point advantage, 12-7. Time off. Sub red. Kenya back to seven players. 15 seconds Red on five. the clock. Red five sub. Have Kenya got one more big Number moment five, in them? 20, 20 seconds. Some can't look. Webster, who's the calm here? Kenya need the ball. Must get possession from this. And Webster's going to bang this really long. The gong goes. How's the bounce? Kenya are just going to keep it in field. They've got a chance. With possession, they've got life. Just hanging on. It's still there for Otieno. No penalty, Canada. The last plays, the last moments. Over here, please. Uh, just a second, please. Ten metres, please, gents. On the line. Canada you have, to tap it first. have held their nerve. Yes! And they've yes! held their place on the HSBC World 7 Series by the skin of their teeth. beauty and the despair of sport at its best, the toughest of moments for Kenya who have given so much for so many years. And then the sportsmanship, the camaraderie, it's a tough, tough moment for Kenya, but a brilliant one for Canada.